They say you don't know how good you have it until it's gone, and I demand that you acknowledge me for who I am, for what I am. I know I'm not the most pleasant to be around, but you need me. You couldn't live without me. I've been there since the beginning. In your darkest hours, I'm the one you turn to. And it's time that you treat me the way I deserve to be treated. Because I'm the unsung hero, the King Commode, the Porcelain Pony. Hi, I'm John. Who did you turn to after Taco Night? Me. Who was there for you when you said goodbye to Mr. Fishy? Me. I was there for you at 2 a.m. when you couldn't keep your liquor down. By the way, I think maybe it's time to lay off the four locos. Honestly, I'm probably the most consistent thing in your life right now. I have seen the most intimate parts of you. You fight over who gets to use me first when you get home, and you do more reading on me than you do at the library. But despite all this literal shit that I take from you, you miss my bowl, you forget to flush me, and you leave my lid up. And don't get me started on being clogged. It's called a courtesy flush. I mean, don't get me wrong, you're gorgeous and all, but bent over with a two-foot stick in my mouth isn't exactly Christmas card worthy. I remove the worst parts of you, and in return, I get nothing. Nada. No blue water, no fuzzy lid covers. You buy damn near sandpaper for toilet paper, and I rarely ever get clean. But I'm not in it for the accessories. I'm the hero you need, but not the one you want. So you'll keep using me, because I can take it. Because I'm not a hero. I'm a silent disposer. A watchful dumper. A dark night. Shit, I mean a toilet. Look, all I ask from you is two things. The next time you use me, make sure you put my lid down and be sure to flush. P.S. A little bit of fiber would go a long way. <laughs>